Dear students, we already know now the importance of scoring matrices. Instead of scoring the same score for all types of matches or mismatches, scoring matrices allow us to have a flexible scoring scheme. So by flexible scoring scheme, I mean that substitution of specific amino acids by others is scored differently. And similarly for uh, matches and mismatches, all of the scores are computed based on the frequency of occurrence of these amino acids in similar protein sequences. So how do we arrive at these scoring matrices? In this module, we're going to talk about that. So you already know the purpose of scoring matrices and their utilization, but just to give you an overview, we compare biological sequences by aligning them, or we call it the pairwise sequence alignment. And during this alignment, we rank the uh, matches between sequences using scoring matrices. So by looking at the chemical properties of these amino acids, we can actually see which amino acid should get a higher score and which amino acid substitution should get a lower score. In this slide, you can see the 20 different amino acids that are listed here. And in this colorful diagram, you can see their chemical properties as well. For instance, the green ones are the polar amino acids, the brown ones, as indicated here, are the charged amino acids. Lots of hydrophobic amino acids, all of them are here in this big Venn diagram. Aliphatic, hydroxylic, tiny, basically it means very small. And small here means that larger than tiny but still very small. And of course acidic amino acid and basic amino acids here. So these are the different properties of amino acids that make them get substituted or conserved within the protein sequences. So this is very important to understand. So next, this has been reported by Robinson and Robinson several years ago that each amino acid has a specific frequency of occurrence on average. So it means alanine has about 0 0.078 occurrence on a scale of 1 and similarly arginine, asparagine, cysteine and you can look at this entire table like that. Now how did they compute this frequency? So what they did was they took up similar protein sequences and counted the occurrence of each amino acid and normalized it between 0 and 1. So let's see how to compute this matrix. Let's assume that we live in a very simple world and we only have 3 amino acids. You, as you already know there are 20 but just to simplify the problem. So we have 3 amino acids in this example. And our proteins are also very small in sequence and they comprise of just four amino acids. Okay. So what you need to do next is you need to count how many A's are converted into A. And how many A's are converted into B's. Similarly, how many A's are converted into C. And you make all of these combinations, as you can see, and count the, that is, you observe the frequency. So there are a total of 60 such conversions. And let, okay, let's see. C to C is 2 by 60. So here is a C and it gets converted into this C. So that is 1. Here is another C in sequence number 2 that gets converted to a C in sequence number 3. 
so you have two okay if you want to consider let's say b to b so you have six b's going to other b's out of a 60 so let's count them just to help you practice so we are considering this conversion okay so here is a b going to another b1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you have 6 over 60 in this way you count all of these conversions and you list the observed frequencies and the observed frequencies here are for the entire set of proteins. So here 4 over 24 will mean you have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you have 4 over 24 and here the Fij is computed and Fi is convert, computed. So Fij is the conversion of one amino acid to another while Fi is the frequency of each amino acid. So now you have a list here and here and these lists have been put here for you. So the entry in S that is the scoring matrix IJ so any entry can be computed by simply computing the log to the second base here of Fij over Pij so what is Pij so Pij is simply the frequency of occurrence of an amino acid if they are the same if Fij that is i is not equal to j then the pij equals 2 into fi into fj so this will help you compute pij and fij is already with you that is here so pij is here now and you can compute 2 times sij that is here and you obtain the scoring matrix if you note carefully then each element is an integer so we have converted all elements in Sij into integers. So our scoring matrix for our small 3 amino acid world is given here. So in conclusion, based on the frequency of certain amino acids, we can compute the scoring matrices and then we can use them to compare sequences that are given to us later for comparison.